Welcome back this morning, Exodus chapter 2, verses 18 to 22. We'll see what happens next. When they came to Ruel, their father, he said, Why have you come back so soon today? So they said, An Egyptian delivered us from the hand of the shepherds, and what is more, he even drew the water for us and watered the flock. He said to his daughters, Where is he then? Why is it that you have left the man behind? Invite him to have something to eat. Moses was willing to dwell with the men, and he gave his daughter Zipporah to Moses. Then she gave birth to a son, and he named him Gershom, for he said, I have been a sojourner in a foreign land. So soon the seven daughters come home, and uh, Ruel, their father, he is fascinated. Well, what are you doing back so early? And they tell him, oh, well, an Egyptian came and saved us. <laughs> so... Uh, they tell him the story, and he says, well, why did you leave him there? Bring him on up. Bring him on up. Invite him to come here and eat. Go find him. And so he sends them back out. They find Moses and bring Moses on up. And so this is going to pass over now a number of years. We don't really know how rapidly this all happened or whatever. But anyway, it seems like Moses got along well with Ruel and with his daughters. And in fact, he must have got along pretty well, especially with one of the daughters, because Zipporah, one of the seven daughters, is uh, married to Moses. So now Moses, he was trying to deliver his people, but now he's living in the desert. He's got a wife, a family, and he must have been working there with the flocks. And now he even has a son. And uh, the son's name reflects that, you know, Moses, he was, he was hoping maybe to deliver his people, but now he's just kind of himself, kind of an alien, a stranger in a strange land. And so we have this kind of a, it's kind of a sad element here going on. But you know what? I know that in my experience that when I became, when I was married, uh, I learned a lot about myself. I didn't realize quite how bad and how selfish I was. And then later, when I took on, when we had children, uh, that also is a whole nother revelation about uh, you have to do a lot of things for those kids to make things work out. You've got to set aside things you might want to do and, and do good for the family. So uh, Moses gets this kind of family education, and a lot of times we're not completely sorted out ourselves until we get some family education. So uh, God is working. He's going to bring Moses and use him, but right now Moses has to unlearn some things and relearn some things. And so there's some important pieces there. Uh, if we are going to meet the full potential God has for us, often he'll put us in a situation where we learn more about ourselves more about our deficits, our deficiencies, so that we can rely on him more and we can learn more how to be more like Jesus. So Moses is in kind of this learning mode, this learning seminar going on through his life right now as a husband and as a parent. And so that's going to prepare him for the wild stuff that's coming up because Moses is going to find his way back to Egypt and it's going to be pretty intense. All right, I hope you'll join me tomorrow morning as we carry on in the book of Exodus. See you then.